The only one available. What we've got here are some uh, Atlas tanks. These are water tanks. And over here I've got a grey water tank. And these are going to go in the motorhome for our water, right? Now uh, these are standard size tanks that you order from Atlas tanks. And then you have them fit the inlet holes and that sort of thing in the outlet hole wherever you want them to be fitted, okay? In my case here, we've got the inlet holes up here because we're going to have a, uh, a little uh, hole on the side of the bus and then water's going to go in. That's the breather hole for air to come out. And down the bottom of the tank here, you've got the outlet pipe which goes to your shower, sinks and all that sort of thing. Now the hole, that there is called a half inch size which suits these little guys. These little John Geth fittings, right? So Now these little guys will, will screw into there, all beautiful like. Right. There's another one here for the breather hole. And um, then you can run your pipes and all that sort of thing, right? There we go. Okay, so we've got two water tanks and we've got a grey water tank. I don't know why it's called a grey water tank, because if you have anything like me and you have a shower, it be called a brown water tank. So. Alright, well here's all the ingredients for the uh, bush vice. Now, um, I haven't got a, ta a timber table. If you've got a timber table, you can just use that. So I, I haven't got a timber table, so I'm using a bit of timber, right? Okay, because this is just plastic table. Get on with it. We need a nice piece of flat metal, like that. You can get that from the steel place. Go down and ask them for a bit, they'll give it to you for five bucks. That's five dollars. That goes there, that's the bottom part of our, of our, uh, what do you call the thing we're making? Grinder, angly, vice. Bush vice. Okay. I need some good advice, eh? Alright, now that goes there. Then this is our piece of metal that we want to bend. Okay, so it goes in that bit. Another piece of metal goes in there like that. Okay, and then a couple of good clamps like this. And we clamp it down like there. So, oh, oh. Okay, then you just get your, your, your hammer. Make sure it's straight. So check it with your, um, your angle. What's that other thing called? The right angle thing, square. Doesn't look like a square to me, it looks like a right angle. Anyway, whatever. Then you bang, bang, bang. Bend, bend, bend. That's it. Bush vice. Uh, tighten him up. And then hit it. I'm good at this sort of job because if you're not too sure, you know, what to do, just hit it harder. Anyway, it's bent. I'm going to smash this one. Oh, boom. Cut. Oh, I am Nez the Hammer. The whole point is to sometimes just get the job done. Be too fancy about it. Well, I'm looking a bit worse for wear and a bit woolly, but I've got all the, or two of the brackets done anyway. And um, I've uh, made holes in the floor of the bus which line up to this. So I put the brackets underneath and like that, put a pen through with a little hole and marked on this bracket where, you know, it's going to go. So it kind of sounds a bit simple, but. That's about as good as I can explain it. And then I've got to get this up there, so this is going to fall out. So I'm just going to zip, just there and on the other side. I'm just going to give them a little bit of a zip. So after all the bashing and the crashing, this is the new method. The two plates of metal, clamp down like that, give it a bit of a ding. So that was just a lot of rubbish. Just get under it. Make sure you get a nice 45 like that. So that's how I do it. And the little curved ends that it leaves there suits these tanks just nicely. Once I put the foam in there, that'll be just dandy. Okay, what we got going down here besides Ellie in the background over there, doesn't know if she's being filmed so we won't sell her, um, is we're putting on the you know, the foam rubber padding. I bet she's racked off, hasn't she? Anyway, I'll get her. We're putting on this foam on top of the metal. This is stuff that we 
purchase. It's just like a foam. It's got a sticky on one side. Talking again too much. Okay. I'm absolutely wrapped. The grey water tanks in the floor and now I'm going to cut with the jigsaw another hole ready to put in the, my first uh, water tank. And of course when you're using the jigsaw you've got to do the jigsaw jig. So let's get to it. Jig, jig, jig. Jigsaw. Jig, jig, jig. Jigsaw. Let's go. Now that the hole's been cut out I put in the wire straps. Chook, chook, chook. That shape under here. And I've Rivet them onto the sides of the chassis rail. It's a good five millimeter engineering rivet, so solid stuff. And it's, it's there and there. And I've got the pad on them. Here's my Atlas tank. That's the way it goes. Lines up like that. Ugh. Trash at the stakes. Sure can. Just go up the side on the inside of the bus, and then I've got my uh, laminate which then curves around and then onto the roof of the bus. Ain't it sweet when things just work out, eh? Yeah, you gotta do the, the jig dance. This is the uh, little snaky black curly stuff that you buy, called snaky black curly stuff. 